What is up, base heads? All my base heads of the world, YouTube, Facebook. Finally got this thing running. This new alternator bracket is working good. I kind of thought some uh, some pulleys was off because I, you know, I've been using that laser tool and it was it was uh, lining right up with, with with most of them and off a little bit. You know what I mean? With the power steering pump and the crank. But actually, it's uh, it's actually all lined up, people. I got a step of pulley back. I mean, an idler pulley back, one spacer, and an idly pulley forward, one spacer. I got to do that. But other than that, it fired right up. It still has a little squeal, a little chirp, a very little chirp at the beginning when you first fire it up. But from what I was told, that uh, electric water pump has something to do with that, with a current draw or pull at first startup, from what someone told me, if you, if you guys agree with that. But I had to tweak a couple of things. Man, we've been on this for three Sundays only because... Mike works on Monday, and I don't. You know, if that wasn't for that, he probably would be down here. He probably would have had this done a little sooner. But it was a little tweaking here, a little tweaking there, and it was like some uh, measurements a little off at first. But it was basically a basic setup like I planned it to be and like it is. It's a basic setup. It's just basic. You know what I mean? And um, I thought that, that actually that tensioner, that tensioner bracket that it lands on leans forward. It actually leans forward, forward a little bit. And I thought that was going to throw it off. I didn't even think that tensioner would actually line up with that uh, crank. It, it didn't seem lined up when I was rolling that laser tool off of there. It didn't seem lined up, and I thought we were going to have to step that thing backwards. But we don't have to step it backwards because it's working. It's not flying off of it. It's not moving forward or backward. It's not walking. My next move is to drive the thing. Driving it is a whole lot different because the engine shifts and moves back and forth and up and down. Then I got to really hope that those charge studs ain't going to hit that roof either because the first off measurements had the whole alternator laying on the roof. I mean, on the uh, roof of the hood. I was able to climb under there and reach my hand up and felt all of that. So we had to drop it down about an inch and a quarter. So that held us back. So some stuff held us back, man. That uh, um, that power steering pump has its own standalone bracket down there. Its own standalone bracket that I came up with. Now, all of these... Uh, uh, all of this inventions and thoughts was, was all mine, all my thinking about everything. I mean, Mike threw his thinking into, you know what I mean, yada, yada, yada. But it was mostly, you know, my, my thinking and thoughts, you know what I mean, and his welding skills, which his welder is still sitting down here because we're getting ready to do that window probably, probably this Sunday as well. Put a piece of plexiglass in there, yada, yada, yada. And, uh, y'all already got a dent in my window? This is a brand new window. A brand new window with a, a dent in it already. But anyway, yeah, and I even made some new charge studs. I created my own charge studs out of aluminum yesterday. That wasn't hard to do. I changed them over from uh, the ones I had on there. I wanted them to bend down, bend downward. To make sure, and I brought some new, uh, some new uh, logs I ordered there too. Yeah, I wanted to make sure they ain't gonna hit that hood. Lord, don't let it hit that hood after all of this work, please. Or I'll be cutting holes in the hood. I'll do that before I mess with this bracket again. But so far, so good. Y'all just seen it running, okay? So the scene it running, and so uh, we'll just go from here.
OG Soda Pop Kid coming to you direct. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, people.